This here song be called Tavistock Goosey Fair. <laughs> Sunday clothes behind Bill's old grey mare. Oh, I smelled the sage and onions off from my crook we chased down. And didn't us have a blowout when we got into the town? And there we met Ned Annaford, chance here in Nicky Square. And it seemed to we, oh, Devon must be in Paristock to Fair. That is, oh, where are you going? What are you doing up there? Eat on your prong and stamp along to Tavistock Goosey Fair. We went to see the horses and the heifers and the ewes. We went on all the roundabouts and into all the shows. But then it started ringing and blowing to a place. So back we go down to the rows. To have a dish of tea. And didn't us have a sing song where the folks kept popping in? We all of them that knowed us well, we shared a slug of gin. But what we wanted to do, us didn't seem to care. When Ross was a bell of a tour on Tavistock Goosey Fair, and it's, oh, where are you going? What be you doing up there? Hey, on your promise and belong to Tavistock Goosey Fair. To a rain in streams and black as pitch, we started on that night. And when I got to Mary Bay Bridge, the mayor took a fright. Says I to Bill, be careful, you'll ever sing the praise. And Bill to me, Cooper says he, I thought you had the race. Just then the mayor stumbled on a whacking good big stone. Her kicked the trap to flip it and her trotted off alone. When us came to us, reckoned, weren't no use sitting there. And it's had to travel 15 miles from Tavistock Lucy Fair. And it's, oh, where are you going? What are you doing out there? Keep on your promise and belong to Tavistock Lucy Fair. And it's, oh, where are you going? What are you doing out there? Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of me plight. And at the time of writing, I am not a pretty sight. Me body is all black and blue, me face is a deathly grey. And I write this note to say why Paddy's not at work today. Whilst working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. And to throw them down from such a height was not me best idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased. He is an awkward sod. He said I had to cut him down the ladders in me hard. Well, cutting all those bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see. That a barrel full of building bricks is heavier than me. And so when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, and to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. Now the barrel broke me shoulder as to was a grounded sped. And when I reached the top, I, I banged the pulley with me head. 
clinging tightly, now with shock from this old lighty blow. I saw the barrels bare half the bricks, some fourteen floors below. Now when half the bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, now I outweighed the barrel, so I started up once more, clinging tightly to the rope, my body racked with pain, till halfway up I met the bloody barrel once again. Now the force of this collision halfway down the office block caused multiple abrasions and a nasty state of shock. Clinging tightly to the rope, I fell towards the ground and I landed on the pile of bricks the barrel had scattered around. And as I lay there bleeding, I thought I'd seen the worst. But the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst. A shower of bricks rained down on me. I didn't have a hope. And as I lay there groaning, I let go the bloody rope. Now the barrel being heavier, it started down once more and it landed right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs in my right arm and I can only say that I hope you'll understand why Paddy's not at work today. Begora. Now this here's a song about a muck spreader. It ain't too smutty, but it in parts. <laughs>
flagging down What a sight A policeman all covered in Yeah, that's right Fling it here Fling it there Give me your stand